Hey guys, welcome back to She Travels, and I really missed filming a video. So I think you guys should know that right now I am not in Chile anymore. I am with my parents and with my family and friends, and basically that is why I've been MIA because I wanted like you know some space to be with them for a moment. I finished my studies and I left Chile, I left South America, but I think I'm going to make a plan to go back. Anyways, today's video is not about that. As you can see from the title, it's about how to travel without going abroad. Now the reason why I made this video is basically because I feel that traveling is now a trend. I feel that traveling has become something where People go abroad, they take pictures, they post it on social media, and we can see that, oh, this person's life is so awesome. Honestly, traveling is not always about that. Yeah, sometimes I do make it about that. Like, I post things on my Instagram, I take pictures, I vlog, and show you all about what I do in my travels. But really, what you see in my Instagram, what you see on my YouTube channel, they are like three minutes of three precious hours so what you see it's not everything traveling is something that we can do anytime anywhere as long as we want to get out of our comfort zones so today i'm bringing you five tips on how to travel without going abroad I'm pretty sure that all of us have a certain routine. We have these go-to cafes, we have these go-to restaurants, and it becomes something very normal to us. One of the most important things about traveling is being random and being spontaneous and just having fun. So if you usually go to the right, try going to the left this time. I mean, who knows what you can find? And really, I'm not just talking. I actually did this when I was in Chile. There is this neighborhood called Barrio Restaria, and I've never been there for all of that time I've been in Chile, in Santiago. I've never been to Barrio Restaria, and for just this once, I stopped making excuses, and I went there alone by myself to explore what the neighborhood had to offer and honestly I really really liked it I felt that it was really me it was not that crowded it was not hectic it was somewhere that I really enjoy going to so honestly if you have a certain place in your city or maybe in your country why not go there you don't have to go abroad to explore new places because I'm pretty sure you have not been to all of the places in your city where you live. So, why not try it? We as human beings, we are very much blessed with the senses that we have. We can hear things, we can see things, we can smell, we can taste, we can touch. So why not, while going to this new place or going to any other place that you are going to, use the senses as much as possible touch a wall and feel that texture in your fingers why not smell new food why not taste new flavors and that's what i did i actually ordered a coconut chocolate cake and it's new to me because i hate coconut on cakes but i was like this is the time for me to try something new i'm going to do this if you don't want to eat or drink then maybe sit down and watch whatever is around you and listen to whatever is around you because you never know we have this gift of seeing of hearing, of touching, of smelling, of tasting, and sometimes we really take it for granted. Maybe if we try to do this also in our own cities, and our own countries, we might just see our home in a different way. Now the one thing that I know that every city and country has is a museum. And people always think, hmm, museum is a place where we just go in, take pictures, look at the exhibition, and then get out. 
honestly, it's more than that. A museum is a place where you can learn about your city, about your country, and it is one of the good ways to actually learn new things. And that's what traveling is all about, learn new things. So if there is a museum in your city that you've never gone to, maybe try to visit it once in a while because you never know what you're going to learn. And there are also exhibitions from all over the globe and you can actually see a part of a culture that is not from your own culture and it's a great way to actually learn new things. So why not? They also have discounts for students sometimes so if you are a student, might as well make use of it. Joining meetups is also a good way to travel in your own city. Why? Because you meet new people. Again, traveling is also about meeting new people and discussing ideas with people who have different views than yours. I joined a meetup with Travel Massive a few months ago in Santiago and I really met these amazing travelers, these amazing entrepreneurs and I'm just so blessed to have that opportunity. If you want, you can go to either travelmassive.com or joinmeetups.com. You will find so many meetups happening around you and honestly, it's worth it. Street food, in my personal opinion, is awesome. Sometimes in your countries, you have these certain street food that you've never tried before. Well, maybe it's time to try because food is a very important part of a culture and street foods can both represent cultures of your own or maybe cultures from other parts of the world. So say yes to street food and have a bite. So guys, that is basically it for this video. I hope you liked it and if you have other tips of traveling in your own city or in your own country, leave them in the comments below and i really apologize if my vlogging skills are like going down the drain because i have not been vlogging for like two weeks or ish i don't know i really think that my skills need to be polished a bit more don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and i will see you on my next adventure slash video bye Oh, 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 oh,